Well, it's wintertime in Florida, and that means fresh oranges and orange juice right around the corner. But this year, there is a big concern. And growers don't think they'll pick as many oranges because of a disease that's killing the trees, and it could cost you more at the grocery store. But there is some hope. ABC Action News reporter Chad Mills got an up-close look at the new research the University of Florida is doing to cure that disease. And Chad, they now have more money to do that. That's right, guys. They hope that new grant funding will allow them to cure the disease that's impacting trees like these. Dr. Lauren Diepenbrock is in her happy place, surrounded by a Florida icon. I love it. It's the best job I could ever ask for. But what brings her here to this experimental orange grove isn't something good. She's here at the UF Citrus Research and Education Center in Polk County, because of a tiny flying buck that's infecting orange trees with a disease called citrus greening, a disease that causes the trees to die a slow death. Oh, it's all over the place. I mean, it's pretty much every grove has it. And it's a disease that's threatening the state's $8.6 million citrus industry, a disease that's seriously shrinking the number of oranges growers expect to harvest this season, and one deep in Brock and yeah. other UF researchers are hoping to cure. Well, if you like citrus, I mean, we have to solve this issue because one, the prices are, for production are going up, so both fresh fruit and juice production is it's more expensive now than, than when I was a kid. But there is hope because the team here, which also includes Dr. Michael Rogers, can now do more to cure citrus greening. UF's Institute of Food and Agricultural Sciences was just awarded several million dollars to juice up its research. It's something that we're committed to making sure that we have a solution to keep orange juice on the, on the store shelves and fresh fruit in the market. And the important experiments are happening here in the Grove Diepenbrock Roams. There's netting around young trees to maybe keep bugs off. They are a fine nylon mesh. A rust-colored clay coating to disguise some trees from the bugs. They may not see the plant. And even yeah. shiny tarp laid underneath some of the trees. So maybe that reflection helps deter the pest from fi finding the actual tree to land on. Already some positive results, but it's still work in progress. We'll, we'll get there. Until then, she and the others will keep up their work. Work that could save this Florida icon. Their ultimate goal, developing a tree variety that is resistant to citrus greening. Live in Lake Alfred, Chad Mills, ABC Action News.